Hi there everyone, this is DJ. Uh, this is a video just to explain how a swale could be connected to a dam to enhance the amount of water captured by the dam. I hope uh, the image is clear to you. Here I have tried to replicate uh, a landscape just as an example. You can see that there is a slope to this landscape. You can kind of consider these lines as uh, contour lines somewhat. So there is a slope going from here all the way down. Suppose on this landscape there is rainfall, right? Uh, when rain falls, we can, we can see that uh, the water is going to go right angle to contour that is just down the slope, it is going to go down the slope and it is going to just flow off. Now this is uh, a kind of a um, a kind of a contour dam that is being shown here <coughs> um, and all the water is going down. Now in this example the dam is just going to catch this water. All of the rest of the water is going to go down, right downhill without ever getting into our storage. So instead of letting it go what we can start doing is set up systems in such, such a way that we can stop the water here going down and lead it into the dam right so that all the water on this landscape on this part of the landscape and on this part of the landscape can also be stored so a generally uh, a common way of doing this there are two common ways of doing this one is to set up drains that is Drains are just ditches down slope. So we are going to go down slope like this, build a bund that connects to the dam wall, somewhat like that. And on the other side also we can do the same. We can connect a drain. So all the water now that falls here is going to hit this drain, this mound, little mound or a ditch behind the mound and the water can flow down. Now the issue with drains generally is that if you have them in a very steep slope they start eroding the landscape. When the water flows down the drain it erodes the drain itself. Uh, when we have the drain set up gently that can be prevented but this is just one way. Another way we can do this is by setting up swales. The way, uh, the way we do this actually is that we know that this is the contour, this is the line at which the whole swale, the, the, the whole dam, sorry, the dam starts. So below this is where we are storing the water. So at this point what we can start doing is that we can just start cutting the landscape a little bit using uh, earthworks and uh, what we do is we dig a, dig a ditch we dig a ditch right and then we put all the mud from this ditch onto the sail there right there it's kind of crude but uh, it gets the point across let me just make sure that uh, it's proper enough for understanding purposes and we are going to connect the sail somewhat like that to the dam wall to the pond wall we are going to do the same on the other side Imagine this is a JCB. Uh, we have dug out the mud in a trench and we are putting it on top. So let me just do this crudely and make sure that it's all in all pretty good. Yeah, it is good. Um, right, we connect that there. 
will connect the cell. Now what starts happening is that uh, we don't we don't want a trench like this. Otherwise, rainwater is going to erode this the, the edge. So I'm going to gently back cut the cell. And now. And now what starts happening is that now when water hits this this landscape the water is going to come down right on both sides hit the sail and soak into the sail it is going to soak into the mound and into the ground right first is first thing that's going to happen is that it starts soaking in once the soaking is kind of slowed down that is once enough water is soaked down the rest of the water will just fill up the swale and in the process it's going to fill the dam up right let me explain that once again for you guys so when the water is coming down slope from here it's going to fall into this ditch it's going to get collected in this ditch the soil base as we call it and then it's going to soak the soil mound and then all the landscape that it can in, in the given amount of time. Beyond that water is going to get collected in the soil and as it gets to the dam it just flows into the dam and fills the dam up like that. That's all going to be water. After the pond is filled or the dam is filled, after the swale is full, we'll have a spillway somewhere and it's going to overflow over the spillway or it will just soak in if there is not too much rain. So this is basically the idea of how we connect a swale to a pond. The other way is to do this via drains. Hope this little video makes it slightly clear for you guys. I have got a few questions on this. So I thought I would quickly try this out. I have been wanting to try out screen recording for some time to explain some of the aspects in 3D. So this is my attempt. Sorry for the stuttering and uh, you know uh, the way I am speaking. This is the first time I am doing this. Working on the screen and talking at the same time. So forgive me for that. Hope the concept is clear for you. Thank you for watching. DJ Sending off.